So it is 3.50 p.m. and I've made the decision this week to not put up any of my schedule programming aside from the Tag Tuesday that you'll be seeing today. That is because I want to focus on Booktubeathon. I feel like I should prioritise reading books than going home putting makeup on and filming and I don't want to do that. And if I wait and do it tomorrow then I won't have time to actually participate in Booktubeathon film that video, edit it, have it up for Thursday and film this vlog as well. So no more scheduled content for the rest of the week, but that does mean that aside from today, which is Tuesday, you will have a daily vlog every single day. And I've had like, you you guys have apparently been loving my reading vlog, so I, I hope you like that and that's okay. That's, that's my boo. My boo's leaving me today. Bye. Goodbye, my lovers. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes so the other thing that I have to update you on is that surprisingly I've already finished a book today from start to finish and that was my audiobook which was knocked out by my Nunga Nungas by Louise Renison the reason that I finished it is I thought that it was like four and a half hours but it was actually two and a half so I just put it on at work and then didn't turn it off and I finished it I then went straight on to the third book in the slam series by Colleen Hoover which is this girl I've only read 30 pages of that. I wasn't supposed to be starting that until tomorrow because it's on my Newt's TBR and I want to only start those books on or after the 1st of August. But I've only read 30 pages and I just didn't want to like waste my last half an hour of work when I could have been reading. So I'm not sure how many pages I've not taken by my Nunga Nungas I read because it was audiobook but I do have a physical copy when I'm home. I am going to talk about that book a little bit more when I get home and I have the physical copy to show you and refer to. And now my plan for the rest of the evening is just to finish Batman Nightwalker which may be difficult because I'm only 20 pages in and it's 380 pages but we'll see how it goes. Anyway. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna make some food, possibly walk the dog, shower, and then get into more reading and you'll see me later. So, I've had a shower, I didn't walk the dog, I was too tired, but I'm gonna do some more reading now. I'm currently working on Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lou in my cute little jungle book book sleeve. And I'm 46 pages in now, I've read a little bit more since I got home from work, but I want to get this done tonight. I'm not loving it so far, it's a bit too action-y, it's a bit too superhero-y, I don't really like superheroes, but I, there's no excuse really for why I bought these apart from that they're pretty and Sarah J Mass is going to be writing one. Also, I want to say before I start reading that I'm salty because I forgot that I didn't do a colour wash this weekend, so my traditional vlogging pajamas my lion king ones are in the wash so i had to go for marvel which is kind of fitting considering the book even though this is dc like superheroes but um i'm sad because i was really looking forward to putting on my lion king ones and they're they're in the wash so because i don't feel like i can read this all in one sitting i think i'm going to try and get to page 150 at least then i need to do some work in my bullet journal putting down the books that i've read the last few days and things like that so I may take a break watch some Pretty Little Liars and then continue 250 pages in this book I wanted to get it finished tonight I'm not sure if I will but we're gonna try on that Hello, you just came for my notes, honey. Well, you've got a lot of them, but you can have some love. Oh, he's my baby girl. Is you? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, so when I updated you earlier, I was on page 40 something of this book, and that was an hour ago. I'm on page 60 something of this book and ow, that hurt. It's a slog. 
I'm not enjoying it. I'm really not. It's 8.30ish. I'm going to give it a solid go until 9pm. If at 9pm I'm still really struggling, then I'm going to take a break and watch TV because I don't know whether the fact that I've just read so much already today has contributed to it, although I don't think it has because I've listened to an audiobook today. I haven't actually really done any physical reading apart from 30 pages of This Girl. So I think it is the book. It's very action-y, it's very superhero-y and it's just not my cup of tea. If I had to pick between a book that was really slow and full of political intrigue or like really fast-paced and full of action, I would pick the slow book. Action-packed books are not for me and neither are like action movies. But I'm gonna give it another half an hour and I'll let you know what I decide to do. So like fully concentrating for half an hour seemed to work. I'm now on page 101, so I've read 40 pages, which is more than I've read the entire time I've been trying to read for like an hour before that. I'm going to take a break though. I want to watch at least one episode of Pretty Little Liars tonight, just because it's the only night that I get to like watch whatever I want on TV because my boyfriend's not here playing FIFA or Nintendo or anything. So I like to take advantage of that. And I've already read... 286 pages today so I'm doing pretty good and I feel like I deserve a break okay guys so it's a couple of minutes to midnight on the second day of booktubeathon so it's time to wrap up my reading for the day so first up I started and finished Not Take By My Nunga Nungas by Louise Renison I gave this one five stars this is the third book in the Confessions of Georgia Nicholson series. It's one of my childhood favourites. It's just like a 14 year old girl's diary. It's more teen than YA but I took the demographic from Goodreads because I wasn't sure about it myself. But I listened to this audiobook, started it this morning, finished it this afternoon. It was hilarious and I loved it. I then moved on to This Girl by Colleen Hoover. I read 30 pages of that. This is the third book in the Slam series and it is a new adult romance. That one so far it seems like it's just the first book told from Will's perspective instead of Lakin's and if it is I'm not really into it because I already know that story and I don't really care about his thoughts during that story. And that one is for the challenge to read a book about something you want to do. Then when I got home from work I read 108 pages of, you can't see what this is, it doesn't have a dust jacket on. This is Batman Nightwalker by Maria Lou and I read this for the challenge to read a book with a beautiful spine and even though the dust jacket isn't on I really like the simplicity of just the superhero icon on the spine. This one, I'm not loving. I'm going to be doing a book diary on it because it was released on like the 2nd of January this year, but it's very action packed and superhero-y, which you may say, but Becca, it's a superhero book. Yes, I know. I don't like superhero films. I don't like action movies. So, it's not really for me. There are a couple of things with it as well that I'm going to delve into further in my book diary. But right now, not loving this. It's quite difficult for me to get through it. I'm exactly halfway through this now, so I'm hoping to get this finished tomorrow. So in total, that puts me at two completed books of a booktubeathon, which two in two, that's pretty good. Today I have read 314 pages, I think which puts my total at 480 pages for Butchubathon, I believe. As I'm doing small Butchuber shout outs at the end of every day, I will do one now. Today's small Butchuber shout out is Heather. You may recognise her from her channel, Heather Dowell. She has, however, just launched a new channel and it's called The Happy Booktuber. And it's all about super fun content just to make people happy. It is focused around books, but she's doing a new take on things. If you want to go check out her booktube newbie tag I really like her take on that. We've also been writing a couple of skits together which will be coming soon, one on her channel, one on mine. So if you want to catch them both you could go subscribe to her now. She's a really lovely, lovely supportive person and I'm really loving this new direction that her new channel is heading in. I think it's really fun, it's a breath of fresh air and it's not to be taken seriously. It's like jokey, it's fun and it's it, it makes me happy to watch it, which is the intention. Okay, so I'm going to head to bed now because it is past midnight now, probably. But I will see you guys bright and early to continue this vlog. Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate. You say you're a girl.
what nobody knows With guns sitting under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no